I've never been so passionate today about what I do as now. You know why? I'm free. <laughs> I don't have a boss, I don't have a function description, and I don't have to work for a degree. And at that point in time, you become who you are. And that's the story about. I'm going to tell you a story about electricity of learning. And during this story, I'm also going to explain Chef's law. It's my own law. <laughs> uh, this is the first time I shared it with an audience like this. I kept it very secret, but today I think I have to tell it in 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to awake you about four topics. The first topic is the world is changing very fast. It's not up to me to tell it to you. You know it yourself. The second thing is we don't know how to learn. We organize courses, we create universities, but we still don't know how we have to learn. And the third thing is, if you know Jeff's law, then you know how to learn. And then if you know how to learn, then we have to start a revolution. And I'm so happy that a lot of you are very young people, because my generation did something wrong. And I'm going to tell you why or what. So the first thing is, we are experiencing now a transition to another world. And this is happening. We are coming from a world where there was no information, this was information shortage. The world was flat, two-dimensional. What is information shortage? You can't learn at home. That's why we created schools, because we had to go to school to learn. But today, there is no information shortage anymore. We are living in an information luxury. Everybody can learn. You can even learn at home. If you're passionate and talented, you can even learn faster at home than at school. And this is a problem. And this is what I call Swiss 3D. So this is the time frame we are living in now. Now, this guy, he's talking about the origin of species. And today, there is something happening that we are creating a new kind of species. Because of all this information luxury, we are creating a new species, and it's called the 3D smart. The person who is very smart in this new area of information luxury, and he is doing 3D learning. So the first thing we have to understand is, what is a 3D smart? Well, a 3D smart is a human. A 3D smart is a person who understands that only learning happens when you're in the groove here with the talents. And what is a talent? A talent is something that makes you special. When your parents produced you, they created something, and they tell their children, you're going to make it, but we don't know in what. <laughs> That's the whole secret. We All of us have talents, but we don't know them. But how can you get the value out of a talent, well, the moment you get passionate about your talent, the moment you are able to suffer in your talent, because that's the real meaning of passion, then magic happens. You know what happens when you have passion and you want to suffer in your talent? Then you start to learn. Then you start to looking for information. People who don't have passion in their talents aren't looking for information. Information starts when you're in the groove with your talents. And when you learn a lot from passion in your talent, you want to do something with it. And what happens when you do something with it, where you have the suffering for passion and learning in your talent, then you do it the best, then you are at your best, and you know how you get rewarded by dopamine. And dopamine is a drug. And the moment you go further than your boundaries, then you, are, you get a reward, dopamine. And that's a 3D smart. So what is a 3D smart? A 3D smart is a person who is addicted to his own talents. He really wants to become himself. And there's this guy, he said it. The two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. And you know why and when? Because you became addicted to who you are. That's a small story. Now the next question we have to answer is, what is learning? Now, learning is something very special. Learning only happens in the brain. We forgot it. If I ask people what is learning, they don't know, but learning happens in the brain. And the brain is here. I think a lot of people don't even know they have a brain, but the brain is here. And when you're learning, then you have all these neurons making connections. And they have something like hand and legs, and with these hand and legs, they make associations. And what happens is when you're learning, well, new connections are made. And you know when this system works? It only works when you're passionate about evolution and you have access to information. 
And you know what happens in the brain? Well, if you put a person who is learning into a PET scanner and you look at his brain, his brain lights up. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. But if you're learning and I take a PET scan, then on the left side, you see where new connections are made. This is magic. So what do we have to do? How can we increase the power to learn? It's very easy. The power, the power to learn you can increase by increasing your learning tension and do something where you have the hunger to learn, where you are passionate to suffer. And the second thing is, you have to learn where to get information, and that are neural connections. And when I saw this picture in the midst of the 90s, I came up with an idea. And what is the idea? Well, this is the, the brain when it's learning. Do you know what it becomes? It becomes a lamp. So <laughs> I'm going to show you. I brought it with me. This is my experiment. So this is the learning tension, and this is your brain. And when you have learning tension, it lights up. So this is happening in the brain with people who are passionate about suffering and they have information. So at a certain point in time, I said by myself, there is a, a law in electricity that says the electric power equals electric voltage multiplied with electric current. And that's, it's expressed on the bulb with 25 watts. So I said by myself, I found a formula for learning. The learning power of people equals their learning tension, their passion to suffer, multiplied with information flow that flows through their brain. This is one of the easiest formulas in the world. But it made me understand why people learn and other people don't. And so what I'm saying is, this is Jeff's law. Jeff's law is just a formula expressing this thing. The learning power of people equals the learning tension multiplied with information flow. And the larger it is, the more competent you become. So then I ask myself, do people with the same learning tension have the same learning power? No. Because it depends on what I call their learning competence. And the learning competence is the angle. So if you have high learning tension and you, have, and you know where to get your information, then your learning competence increases. So this means that even if different people have the same passion to learn, the same learning tension, it doesn't mean that they learn as fast because the learning competence is different. And what I see now, I'm 58. And what I see now that people start learning with 3D learning competence because we are living in a new world where we have information luxury. And what do I see today that the learning competences are developed where people get connected with everybody in the world, which is really social media. When people are passionate about evolution, they want to learn from everybody in the world. And the second thing is, we are living in a world which I call GATA, give away knowledge and take away knowledge, and we are really living in a shared learning environment. So what do I see? That people who have talents and passion in evolution and the hunger to learn start using this learning environment. But what do I also see? I see the next thing. We have a problem. And you know what the problem is? My generation never learned how to learn. I'm a generation, I'm 58. We were born in the time frame of information shortage. We never learned how to learn. <laughs> we thought that we learned to learn but we didn't. I tell you what happened. Our learning power, and most people of my age, the learning power is too small to keep competent. And I will tell you why. We don't have any passion, because most of us have a job with a function description they don't like to do. <laughs> most of us want to go on a pension. Most of the students are going to school, studying courses they don't like to study. <laughs> but they have to study them because otherwise they don't get their degree. Why? Because we are coming from a time frame of information sources. And the second thing is, we never learned how to learn. We just had to listen. In our period in time for learning, 
we weren't connected. We, couldn't, we weren't even allowed to connect. <laughs> In our time, we couldn't share. We weren't allowed to share. So my generation never experienced a job or studying or going to school based on their passion for their talents. We just studied what we had to study. And we just did what we had to do. And if you don't have the passion in evolution, why should you develop learning competences? This means that my generation has become an overpaid, incompetent bunch. <laughs> now, I know this is very hard to tell, but I see it every day. And you know what the worst part is? These overpaid, incompetent people have the power. And this is really terrible. So what we did is based on this Jeff's law and based on my experience is this. We have to be able to tell, I'm sorry. We unintentionally disabled the discovery of development of your talents. We never experienced it. Do you know why? We didn't have the information to learn fast enough. We didn't have the schools to do it. So please sons and daughters, which are really our children and grandchildren. I want to initiate a revolution. We have to reinvent education and work to regain who we are. We have to create education that people can select the courses where they have passion in, talent in, and they want to learn. And we have to create a working environment where everybody has the right to do something in the group with his talents. I thank you.